Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo and welcome to a new, brand new Naruto Konoha Legends game. This one's called Battle Climax 2018, or just Climax 2018. Brought to you by Trey Fargo Laws, a uh, character from One Piece is his call sign. Link's in the description below. But this is what we have here. Uh, let me give you a quick overview, show you the menus and all that good stuff. Now I've just gotten used to actually using this game. We've got Arcade Mode versus Team Arcade Mode versus and Co-op, Survival and Survival Co-op, so you can do uh, Survival with a Friend, Training Mode, Spectator Mode, Options and Exit Game. Well, Training Mode and Spectator Mode. Let's go to Spectator Mode because I have a special treat for you. I have finally got the roster set up for the female, uh, it's the Konoha Konoichi Throwdown. <laughs> it's all the females from Naruto Konoha Legends. Uh, in our first match, we have Sakura versus Sakura Great War. That's going to be right here, as a matter of fact. Sakura versus herself in the Konoha War, like, you know, the Great Ninja Wars. Uh, only one Sakura can survive. Who will it be? Uh, the next match is going to be Kurenai versus Tenten. Then match three, Ino versus Hinata. Match four, Tamari versus Tsunade. And match five, Ren versus May. So those are all the matches for today. And then the prelims round two will be Karen versus Conan, Granny Chio versus Yugito, Fu versus Kushina, and Kaguya versus Sarada. Now I know that Kaguya is pretty broken and probably shouldn't be in the tournament, but I felt that it was only appropriate to bring her in since technically she is not technically she's just flat out a, a female period. And who am I to say who's too broken to enter the tournament? I figured if if it you know if it's a girl, put it in the tournament. But um, which sounds kind of wrong. Basically, all the females from the game are in the tournament. It's only fair. So without further ado, Sakura versus herself. Let's get a bit of uh, symmetrical violence in to see who all is going to win and take this home. Now, it's already set to best two out of three, and uh, of course I'll be keeping track of the wins and losses to set up for the uh, semi-finals and the finals and so on. So without further ado, let's get ready, and we're always going to pick like a serious stage instead of random. Remind me not to pick random, or let it happen. Oh, Jiraiya versus Pain. Uh, let's have her fight in the snow field of iron. All right, so we've got Sakura versus Sakura Great Ninja War. Or the Shinobi Alliance, or whatever you want to say. All right, let, oh, cursor's in the way. Now remember, this is a brand new uh, Naruto Konoha Legends just released recently, about a week ago, actually. Now I can see that it's, oh, and Sakura's already starting off strong. Well, <laughs> both of them are. But um, from the very get-go, I can see that it's based heavily on, I think, like a blaze blue theme. Now, I'm not well, that Vanguard up at the top, that, uh, let me move my face cam over here just so that you can see the Vanguard and the battle count. Um, it's, it's interesting. <clears throat> it's got like a, it's got so many, uh, so many different feelings of different games. Um, it reminds me also a bit of, um... Got, uh, um, what was it? Arcana Hearts? A little bit of that. I played a lot of 2D games with an old friend of mine, uh, simply because those were his favorite. Uh, and I kind of liked them too. He always used to whoop my butt though. Okay, so Sakura... Sakura Normal. I, I don't know what to call her. Uh, Sakura versus Sakura War. So Sakura is actually... Sakura War is losing right now. Looks like both of them are... Just sort of going back and forth with some physical moves. Oh, and a heavy hit from Sakura. Sakura War is trying to bring it back right now. Now I think it would be very interesting if either ooh, if either one of them awakened. Cause she's uh I think now interestingly enough, Sakura War has the uh, seal on her forehead like uh, Tsunade's for the healing. Uh, I, I know I know what it's called, I can't remember right now because I'm too busy watching the match, but uh, basic Sakura actually doesn't have the seal on her forehead which is interesting, so it might it must be taken before she got that so I don't know what her ultimate would be or her awakening would be. And uh, the game difficulty is set to max. Whoa! <laughs> but both of them seem to be a little bit 
apprehensive there. Okay, so that's a win for Sakura. Yeah, I think that's based on like a either a Guilty Gear or a Blaze Blue. I know, I know, you know, my old friend would know, but we don't talk anymore, so that's unfortunate. Aww. But uh, let's see, Sakura's actually winning again. Or is she? Oh, there comes Katsuyu. I don't see that very often. I'm sorry if I mispronounced the name. And also, uh, be prepared for some upsets. I know there's going to be a lot of upsets in this tournament. Because some characters are up against other characters that they would never normally be able to defeat. Never. But since it's a game and all characters are basically, like, attempted to be balanced, there's going to be a lot of upsets. And of course, I won't be giving uh, my uh, opinion on who I think is stronger than who unless I, you know, clearly state that it's simply an opinion. I watched a video, I think it was yesterday, of, uh, it was called... Ka um, it was called, uh, All Kage's, like the Hokage, Suchi Kage, Mizu Kage, All Kage's power levels ranked. And, um, the person had a power level scale for each one of the Kage's from beginning to end, like, every single one of them. Uh, I guess he got the pictures of them from the manga since they don't all appear in the show because I'm talking like from the first Sushi Kage all the way to the last and from the first Rai Kage all the way to the last and they don't all appear in the show um, so he probably got the uh, images from the manga but they they tore him up in the comment section below they were they were like dude what gives you the right where'd you get your facts from uh, Kakashi stronger than Tsunade Tsunade stronger than Kakashi you know what are you stupid they tore him up so um, I'm just gonna let the matches play out and whoever's stronger, stronger. It's just, uh, this is a Mugen game, so it doesn't reflect on the characters. I'm not gonna be like, well, look at that, Sakura's stronger than Eno, just because this game says so. It's just fun, so, you know, we, uh, watch and enjoy as Sakura kicks the crap out of herself. And this takes a long time. <laughs> Jeez. Should I make sure that I have the, um, should I make sure that I have the difficulty up? I'm pretty sure it's up. All the way on eight. Maxed out. <laughs> it's probably because they're so alike. Oh my god. And it's set to best two out of three automatically, so since this is taking so long, I literally hope Sakura wins. Oh my god, they ran out of 999 battle count. <laughs> Sakura lost. Oh no. We've got one more to go. Go for broke. Man, I might not even be able to finish all five rounds. Oh, and there's a heavy hit. I've got this one freaking mustache hair that's bothering me. Like, I don't even... I missed a spot. Stupid shaving. I hate it. Okay. We've got... 840 some odd seconds left. Don't, don't time out the clock again. God, they're like the, uh... They're like the robots from Robot Arena 2. They're just spinning around each other in an endless dance. I should have set Sakura up against somebody random, but the way I picked it was um, each character fought the person directly to their right. So that's the way the tournament's set up. I should have done it random so that Sakura doesn't fight herself. Because it looks like they're both in a stalemate, unfortunately. And after this, I promise I'll go check to make sure that the game's on the highest difficulty just so that you can see it too. Because this is uh, a wee bit, um, a wee bit tentative. I'm probably gonna cut and skip through a little bit of this uh, back and forth. So if you see some cutting to the end of the matches, uh, don't worry. It's just to uh, cut down on the tedium going on here. Come on, Sakura. Also, also I should note that um, in this version, from the previous version, you'll notice that Kid Sakura is no longer available. But, in, to make up for that, there is a lot of uh, new female characters, as well as a few new male characters that are exclusive to this mode only. Uh, for example, let's see, I believe uh, Rin. Rin is exclusive to this mode, so look forward to that. Uh, let's see, da 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 da, -da. Uh, Kar wait, no, Karin's in the other one, Conan is too, uh, Chio and Yugito. Fu, Fu is exclusive to this mode only. Uh, let's see, Kushina's here, Kaguya, and Serata. So, Fu and Ren are only available in this new updated mode. 
the uh, Climax 2018, which he just released that one and a DBZ one, which I was kind of interested in. The DBZ one, uh, unfortunately, only has about 16 characters because it's uh, like 16 characters total because it's based on the Dragon Ball Z Super tournament that's actually going on or just completed recently, what, like a couple of months ago? Oh, and there's Sakura wins it. All right, finally. Okay. Well, a good win for Sakura. I'll have that written down, and we'll be right back. All right, and we're back, folks. That was a good win for Sakura. I don't know how the lighting is going on in here. Uh, clouds in front of the sun. <laughs> it's getting a little bit dark. Uh, hang on, let me turn on the light. Uh, uh, we're back. Sorry about all that. Had to turn on the good tasty lights. Uh, let's see, we've got in the next match, Kurenai versus Tenten. Now, of course, that's uh, one of those upset matches, and uh, if I get one of the button presses wrong, uh, forgive me. Um, the way this game is set up is actually uh, the control scheme is a bit bleh, is a bit different from the original. Uh, the original uh, select was U, now it's W, and the movement keys are the arrow keys. So that's, that's different. Uh, uh, movement like up is now select. And movement is now arrow keys. So Kuranai versus Tenten. Uh, Ninja World Tournament. Oh, that's where we should do all of them. I didn't know there was a tournament. Maybe not all of them, all of them. But I mean, it's a tournament stage in a tournament. I just, I, I can't, I can't not do that. I'm sorry. I just can't. All right, and we've got Kuranai versus Tenten in the match of the century. See who's gonna come out on top. Black screen. Oh, there we go. All right, we're all ready. Curses out of the way, and let's get on fight. Wow, you know, now that I think about it, the interesting thing is, if I'm, if I remember correctly, oh wow, this one's gonna go a lot faster. What happened to Sakura? Oh, I forgot to um, show you guys that the mode is actually on the hardest difficulty setting. I I'll do it after this round. All right, Kurna is coming out with some strong Genjutsu. Tente's not fighting back much. She seems to be trapped. Really bad. Kurunai is very strong. Oh, Kurunai is also exclusive to this mode only. I think I missed her earlier when I was mentioning the uh, exclusive only characters. Ooh, kurunai has got some very strong jutsu there. She could be a contender for the victor. Oh, sparkles. I love that. Alright, Tenten, come on, bring it back. You're like one of my favorite characters. Come on, Tenten. Use some of the ninja tools. Do something. She seems to have a disadvantage here, like a, a type setup. Well, technically... Oh, oh, I love that move. She could have, like, a uh, type disadvantage, but I'm sure that if a player actually uh, used her, if it was player versus player, it would be based on mostly skill. But just character versus character, she seems to have a type uh, disadvantage. She's awakened now. Let's see if she can... Wow! Oh, if only that had hit. If only that had hit. Uh, Kurenai's got some strong Taijutsu as well. Looks like she's getting ready for a Genjutsu. That seemed to be a counter. Tenten's using some of her moves from, uh, um, not Konoha Legends, but, uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm. Or, uh, oh wow, okay. There, there we go. There's some Storm moves. Uh, that did not hit at all. Watch that counter, Tenten. So yeah, some of the moves from Storm 3 and so forth. Uh, Ultimate Ninja Storm. Gosh, there's so many of them now. Alright. Looks like Kurenai is still in the lead. Uses, uh, and, and crazy, she's winning. Oh, see, that's the range you need to use that at. That's perfect. Oh, and look, she's going to try to get to you, and she can't. That's a good place to place that. That's good. Now, yes, keep using vertical attacks. Tente figuring it out. Oh, but it's all over. Man, that was a faster one. Okay. Okay, so that's a win for Kur and I. I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. Alright folks, and we're back. I'll admit that wasn't necessarily an upset round. Could be, could not be. It depends on who you choose um, in your fights. Because uh, I don't know who would actually win that fight in the show. And I'm not going to say. But uh, it, was, it was an upset round to me because I love Tenten. She's awesome. But now in this round we have Eno versus Hinata. So, let's see who's going to come out on top in the... Let's see... Oh, uh, wait, wait, no, I've got to show you that the, um, oh, oh, options, there we go, hard difficulty 8, see, okay, just to let you know, okay, so escape the main menu, 
Then come back to spectator mode. Solo. That's going to be... Whoa, whoa, don't skip a bracket. Eno versus... Whoop, whoop. Do -do 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 Hinata. All right, now... Should I do... Ten, like... This, this one's a good one. This one's a good one. I like this one. I didn't want to do the tournament for every stage. All right. We've got Eno versus Hinata. Let's see who comes out on top. Oh wow, I love the music in this one. Really good. Alright. Eno starts out strong with some Taijutsu. Surprisingly he's up against Hinata, who's an expert in Taijutsu. Wow, flips are completely over. Hinata's gotta come back quick. An interesting, uh, another interesting theory that I'm curious about is, oh wow, that's new, is uh, how the uh, author actually changed some of the moves in this version of the game. He might have changed them, he might have not, who knows. He not to use some gentle fist there, or gentle palm. There's also, there's an English and uh, Japanese translation for all the moves, so if I get any of them incorrect based off of the manga, please forgive me. Okay, it looks like Eno's uh, definitely in rare form. She's uh, winning hands down. And there goes Hinata. That's that's an upset, in my opinion. I, it, I, I, like my opinion says Hinata would win that round, but it's all up to whoever chooses. The comment section will explode. They'll be like, "What? What do you think?" Oh, come on, Hinata, you can do better than this. There you go. Got some gentle fist there. Music's so loud I can barely hear myself think. Looks like Hinata's poison. Okay, the poison's out now. Hinata's trying to bring it back. She doesn't seem to have access to a lot of moves. She needs to charge up some more chocolate. You know, using a lot of that perfume and some very strong taijutsu. She's definitely aggro. I think that's why she's winning. Hinata's a, a bit less aggressive, which is actually, um, it, it actually goes with her character, but I think she could fight, uh, probably better. Oh, there we go. There was some air bomb, but unfortunately it missed. Oh, you know, winning hands down again. This is bad for Hinata. She's got to come back. Come on, think about Naruto. He's out there cheering you on. Oh, don't miss like that. That's bad. Don't do that. Come on now. Oh, ho, ho. Well, a good way to finish it, but that's Eno's win. Like I said, be prepared for upsets. That's what's going to happen in this tournament. A very nice ending screensaver, though. Well, not screensaver, but you know what I mean. Characters select. Win it. A win screen. Um, I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. Hey, everybody. We are back, and this time we've got Tamari versus Tsunade. Now... Luckily for us, this is a late, uh, much later version of Tamari, I think from the Boruto series or nearabouts, so she might actually stand a chance against Tsunade even in the show. Uh, I, I don't know, that's that's up to opinion. I mean, Tsunade is one of the Kage, so, like, she's a Hokage, so, uh, or she's been a Hokage, so, she's pretty, she's pretty dang strong. Naruto and, hey, alright, and KB versus the Raikage, okay, awesome. Let's do that stage. That sounds good. So let's see who's going to come out on top. Let me make sure, yeah, cursor's out of the way. Okay, we're good to go. Tamari versus Tsunade. Alright, so this is Tamari from the uh, Great Shinobi War. Alright, so uh, uh, Tamari starting off strong. <laughs> Uh, Tamari and Tsunade. Their names are so their their names are so similar. I almost said Tsunami. <laughs> Tsunami starting off strong. <laughs> but um, interestingly enough, this is a very close range fighter versus a very long range fighter. So like specifically, they're uh, like very close range versus very long range. Of course, I think um, I think they both have capabilities for both long and close range. I'm not sure. Tamari pretty much winning hands down right now with some of those uh, very strong wind attacks. Sonati's got to turn this around fast. Oh my goodness. Get ready for those upsets. Oh, get ready for those upsets. Those video dislikes. Remember, this isn't me. <laughs> this isn't me. 
see, you see my hands, Lois. I'm not, I'm not controlling either one of these characters. Oh, uh, Sumari powered up for some real big jutsu, and there it is. Not bad. Okay, so she's using it sparringly for like ones and twos. Tsunade use, needs to use some of her healing abilities or summon Katsuya or some of her uh, more prominent jutsu. I've been seeing some jutsu, but not really a whole lot of really... Oh man, she hasn't even been hit yet. Tamari's getting ready for like a freaking... A, a, a single one-on-one -on -one victory, like a perfect win. How is that even? No, don't be... No perfects, please, no. No. Oh, no. That's ridiculous. That would never normally happen. Not, no. That's, that's messed up. Well, that, that's a little bit messed up. But, uh, that's, that one goes to Tamari, so. <laughs> I'll get that written back, I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. And then I'll, I'll talk about that a little bit. And we're back, everybody. Now that match, that last match, uh, Tamari versus Tsunade, that was definitely one of those upsets that I warned you about. And, um, personally, I, I don't know. I think, uh, like, that was one of those upsets. But, um, like, unfortunately, in this match with Rin versus Mei, each character was set up to fight the person directly to their right side. Or right side. I'm not sure. This camera's reversed, so I don't know which way you'll actually see it. But, um... I did, like, so some of the matches are a little bit, uh, a little bit out there. Um, characters are set up against uh, people they probably shouldn't be. But this is our final match of the prelims round one. So it should be pretty good. And since there are so many, like, uh, type differentiations, and it seems like there's a few, uh, uh, what do you call it, um type matchups where a person loses just based on the fact that they they're fighting their antithesis I might decide uh, to do a losers bracket where uh, they get a second chance to fight back and sort of raise up the ranks just like with the robot arena two tournaments I mean why not but uh, this is Rin versus May and I think we'll go back to the uh, uh, bleh, Ninja World Tournament. I almost said Shinobi World Tournament, but either way. All right, so Rin versus Mei. Let's see who can win. And again, this is definitely one of those like th this is a definitely broken matchup because this is uh, like freaking Kage versus you know uh, again. <laughs> it's not fair, but hey, you never know. Now see, oh, there we go. Rin's doing good. Okay, maybe these two will be evenly matched. I'm just glad that no- oh, wow, that's a nice move. I'm just glad that no one else is doing what Sakura versus Sakura did and sort of having that stalemate battle. I'm also very interested in uh, Rin's specific jutsu and moves because she doesn't actually get to show much in the show and she just went completely through that. That's... What the heck? Wow, that was a lot of big water jutsu. I didn't know Rin could do that. And apparently she becomes, um, what the? Well, that's right, they wanted to capture her because she was the tail beast. Oh, wow, she actually won. And it's over so fast in this mode, too. Like, when you don't have Sakura versus uh, Sakura, it goes really fast. That's right, they wanted to capture Rin. And it looks like she was the three tails. I completely forgot about that. Also, it looks like she becomes insubstantial when she charges uh, that's a little bit of a bug I think I'm not sure I'm not I'm not I'm not an authority on these things by any means um, also Rin is also exclusive to this version of the game only oh no nope, she's not completely intangible holy crap that is a lot of water dragon jutsu wow or at least I believe that what it, once it was wow she's it ticked her off she's gone full tailed beast she completely missed with that attack, but it... Oh, wow, that was a good one. Mm, oh, it looks like that's just made her a bigger target. May looks like she's going to win this one. It's not easy fighting a tail beast, though. Oh, and smacks her right out of it. Yeah, she won that one hands down. So that one goes to May. Final, uh, final match. <laughs> Since it's set to best, best two out of three. Oh, nice. That's right! With her being the Three Tails, her uh, abilities would be similar to that of, um... Oh, don't say it. Oh, wow! Neat! Like a 
I like a friend, uh, a friend jutsu. Very interesting. She's got it raining now, which actually might, in the show, would definitely work to uh, May's favor. Oh, there's another big water jutsu. They seem to have similar jutsu, at least on the water side. Now, of course, May having the ability to form lava too is a, a thing that sets her apart. But yeah, uh, Rin's abilities seem to be very similar to, um, oh god, I can't think of his name right now, you know the one I mean, the three-tailed that came after her, D uh, see, that's what I mean, forgive me if I forget certain things, she is completely intangible to that move if she's charging, oh, and there's the tail beast again, now, is this going to make her a bigger target, or is it actually going to help her out, that certainly did, a strong water pistol move, she, both characters charging chopper now, looks like a big jutsu for men coming up, and water pistol again, of course, it's probably water cannon at that stage. Oh, and that has a range. Oh, and that has a range, too. <laughs> the, it, uh, the way it pans out is sort of a... Ooh. Oh, good one. Nice way to finish it. Roll out. <laughs> Wins every time. Of course, she skipped roll out one through four and just went straight for roll out five. That's a Pokemon reference if you didn't get it. But that is a win for Rin. Hey, I like the way that rhymes. So hopefully, well, I'll get that written down, and we'll do the prelims round two, I think, uh, probably day after tomorrow, I believe. Uh, Karen versus Conan, Chiyo versus Yugito, Fu versus Kushina, and Kaguya versus Serata. So look forward to that, and until next time, take it easy, my friends.